Hey there, in this video I will share with you 5 tips that you can try to make your guitar sound more realistic and emotional in FL Studio or in any music making software. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. The first tip is investing in quality virtual instruments. The quality of the virtual instrument makes a big difference between a realistic sounding guitar and a non-realistic sounding guitar. For example, right here I have a premium guitar plugin. Okay, this is Semi Hollow Guitar by Ample Sounds. And I compare it with this free guitar sampler, okay, that comes with FL Studio. The sound from this plugin, I'll press play. I'm going to be playing the same exact chords when I press play. And when I play the free guitar that comes with FL Studio, this is how it sounds. And as you can obviously hear, there's a big difference between these two guitars and you can see why it's important to invest in quality virtual instruments. The second tip I'd like you to try is to strum the notes to make it sound like a real guitar. If you've seen a real guitarist play, they do strum the notes a lot of the times. So it gives you more of that guitar feeling, okay? And so we're going to strum the notes in FL Studio and I'm sure you can do this in pretty much any software, okay? So in FL Studio, all after this is just, you know, select the notes down to strum, that is the chords, then play then press alternate and S. If you are in Mac, it should be option and S, okay? So then this window will come up, make sure you are selected preserve end and make sure you, know you adjust the velocity so you have enough space in the velocity right here. And then the time right here, you don't overdo it, it's going to sound like this. So we don't want that melody feeling, we just want it will sound realistic, okay? Unless if that's what the vibe you're going for, but want a realistic sounding chord, okay? So I just want a little space, not too, not too much, just a little like this. Okay, that sounds fine. Let me reduce it a little bit, but you know, that was good, but turn it down a bit. Okay, that sounds good. So when I compare it to the chord without being strummed, you can hear the difference, right? This sounds more authentic. For the third tip, you can try changing scales. Now, depending on the kind of emotion you want to create, the scale can also influence the emotion. For example, the minor scale is typically considered for songs that have a sad feeling or a dark feeling, while the major scale is typically considered for songs that have a bright or happy feeling. Now, this is just a guide. It's not always the case, but it's just a guide. For example, here's a chord progression in C major. And here is a progression in C minor. For the fourth tip, you can try changing the voicing of the chords. What it simply means is spreading out the notes that make up the chord across different octaves. Different chord voicing can give different emotions while still retaining the original notes that make up that exact chord. For example, I can take the third because this is one, three, five, so I can just highlight the third, okay? And then just take it to a higher octave. This is how it sounds originally. Mm -hmm. 
for tip number five, you can try using effects like phaser, flanger, or reverb to make your guitar sound exciting. If you've ever seen on stage or in sessions where guitarists work, that's professional guitarists where they work, they typically have some things on the floor that they step on. Those are called guitar pedals. Those pedals are typically for effects. These effects add some flavor and character to the guitar. And you can easily replicate that same process in your music making software, okay? In FL Studio, it's very easy. Just link it to your mixer, control L, then there are free plugins in your mixer that you can have your phaser, your flanger, your chorus, right? They're all here. So let's try um, chorus, for example. This is how it sounds just off the bat. So you can reduce, you know, the effects. Let's also add a flanger. Reduce the effect as well. We can also add a phaser. You can even also add a delay. There are so many effects you can keep adding. You can add a delay. And if I turn off the effects, So you can try any one or more of these tips to make your guitar sound more emotional. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful videos like this. Cheers.